He was just at 12 million, now he's at 25. After spending 12 on a permit. How does that double his stocks in value? That makes no sense whatsoever to me. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Rise of Industry with me, Spacefish, and welcome back to our beautiful, beautiful industry setup out here. Uh, if you remember, in the last episode we actually found out there was uh, quite a bit of inefficiencies actually going on with our farms, being that, uh, well, these crop farms actually uh, make way more wheat than we thought. Um, initially, the idea was that one crop farm was going to be able to um, supply two lines livestock farms at uh, one rather livestock farm now we actually found out that it is two so uh, we did uh, well move up in the livestock farm game a bit then and uh, we are at this point I think somewhere where we are mostly actually supplying about everything that uh, this little city here Panowitz wants from us because uh, you can see here we are um, requiring eight per 15 days in terms of milk we're making like one milk per field so we are technically already over that mark we're making um actually no we're not that's interesting because like last episode you know we were actually like we're getting ourselves into the train terminal of course um in order to be able to deliver some of the things we make to other cities like webhams for example but given that we need like 8 milk every 15 days, that would mean 16 milk every 30 days, and you can see one field makes one unit of milk, so given that we've got 9 fields, we we're only making 9 units every 30 days, we could supply 16 units, so that would mean that we've still got some leeway to actually expand the farms, which is kind of good news, because, well, we do still have enough wheat here to supply at least one more farm, so we could get at least that going. We would need to pay attention to actually have enough water, so that's something to look at, but we could actually move ahead with that and still deliver that to Panowitz, which would be great. And um, then we do, of course, still have the one topic remaining, uh, not of the leather, but of uh, the meat, the beef that we uh, make here. You uh, can see that that's not actually required here in the farmer's market. So for that one, having a train to like Webham's or Kotzfeld going would actually be kind of nice. Webham's probably being the preferred choice just due to us being able to place a train station like here and then go across the country instead of uh, having to wheelie and jiggle it down there. Um, so that will maybe make sense given that, you know, these guys actually require that and they've got quite a decent amount of that required too. So we would be able to deliver that way more efficiently. Currently, I'm pretty sure we've got trucks driving back and forth and I'm actually kind of wondering... Oh, right, this is the leather, right? We've got currently got this contract here of actually delivering uh, 16 units of leather to Webbums, um, which uh, will actually make us a good bunch of money, so we're currently working on that, but we've also got these trucks here going down to uh, Kotzfeld currently to actually sell out the beef, because that's a tad bit closer, you know, than Webbums, but that's probably subject to change once, uh, once we've got that train terminal going. Now, for the time being let's actually look at making one more livestock farm become a reality here then um i think we could kind of sort of no not really you know we would have to terraform probably to make that happen and terraforming is probably kind of expensive yeah you can see that that costs us a lot of money so I'd somewhat like to avoid that, and given that we've got some space down here, I'm thinking we can probably just move things over there. So let's go and build the farm, and then we'll uh, look at the water after the fact. Um, we'll build it right here, and we will go and, of course, place some uh, fields for that farm. Where? Here. Up. There we go. Uh, one, and a two, and a three. Beautiful. And that is another livestock farm set up, easy as that. That's still in the auto logistics range of the warehouse, so that shouldn't be a big issue whatsoever. Traffic is still absolutely horrendous out here, I'll have to say. And that, that one won't make it any better, probably. Uh, now, the question being, how much water are we getting delivered to all this? We've got three water siphons, which make six units of water 
every 30 days. Okay, so we've got 6, 12, and 18. We do need for the livestock farm actually water as well. Okay, um, this is every 30 days. This is also okay. So we've got um, one unit of field basically per uh, one unit, one unit, one unit of water, excuse me, for every field that we see out here, basically. So we've got three, we've got six. We've got, uh, well, you actually need water too, right? Is it also one per field per 30 days? Yeah. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Oh boy. Well, you were thus far sitting at 21. Right, um, I guess we are actually using a bunch of this too. We're making six a month here, right? Which gets us up to 24 in theory. But we've got this thing down here too, which uses water, which uses uh, how much does it use? Cleaning time to 15 days. Is it using one or two units of water though? I'm thinking this is the indicator of how much water I have stored and how much water I use, is it? I'm not sure. Usually it tells me like 1x or 2x, you know. All the farms say like 1x per field or something. And this has a 5 here too, which, yeah, as you can see, is kind of the indicator. So I think this is 1 per 15 days, so that would be 2. So that would make us end up at 22, only we need 24. Ah, <sighs> setting up a whole new water siphon for this is not really all that favourable to me, to be honest, but I don't think we really have much of any choice. Which, um, I suppose we could use the extra water to get even more farms going in the future? Or, like, I don't know, other stuff, whatever it may be that we need? Hmm. I'm not too happy with it, but I don't really think we've got much of a choice if we want to get that farm going. So let's do it like that for the time being. Uh, we'll place the other water siphon right here and we'll add uh, one harvester only for the time being. Because that's kind of all we need for now. The question sort of being, yeah, we can't really... Ew. Okay, we can set one up like that and then one like that and then one like that. So we can actually get three going. Yeah, I was getting worried there for a second. Um, we will go and make this a proper road. Why is this not a proper road, by the way? Let's make these all proper roads. Um, actually, we can probably just connect that up right here. So we don't get even more traffic crossing at even more spots out there. And uh, yeah, that's that. So that should be enough water for the time being. Ah, uh, slightly annoying. At least, you know, the building upkeep is lower on this thing due to only having one harvester, but it's also kind of less efficient per unit of water harvested, if that makes sense, I think. So, ah, uh, not really ideal, not really terrible. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Also, this livestock farm is now kind of waiting for a huge ton of uh, trucks, which will hopefully reach it very soon. I mean, God... Are you carrying one... Why are you carrying one unit still? Didn't we... Did we not finish the research on the trucks? That would actually get us... Did we not finish that? I thought we did. We did. Plus one track capacity increases the capacity of warehouse trucks by one. Oh, is it only these? So why do you also only have one? Why are you empty? I mean, these here I don't think are warehouse trucks, but like these should be. I guess these are only coming back empty. But like, you all just have one in there. Why? You should be transporting more than one unit. I mean, like, this traffic backlog is absolutely. Oh my god. I think we just wrecked traffic. We literally just murdered the traffic there. Like. Can I do roundabouts in this game to kind of try and fix traffic? Because, you know, we had that before. Where we had something like that going, remember? That doesn't seem to do anything, unfortunately. I mean, it's not really technically a roundabout, I guess. So... Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just trying things here, but that's not going to do much of anything for us. Um, the backlog does seem to be lowering itself, so that's good news, but um, yeah, that won't work for us. Unfortunately, you know, something like a roundabout could probably help in this traffic situation. Why is there invisible trucks? Why is there invisible trucks right here? What in the world? Oh boy. But yeah, so um, the traffic does seem to be clearing up. I guess part of the issue was probably being um, the new livestock farm needing so many resources. So hopefully this will actually be clearing up. But why do all these still just... And why are you invisible? What are you doing? Um... Game? Are you good? Are you feeling well? I'm kind of worried about you, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I think they're still using like the old streets that I used to have there. Aren't they? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this guy... Do you have three units of milk in there? Wait, then we have plus one component. So these have two from the get-go? I guess? But why do they sometimes only get filled with... That, that's something that kind of puzzles me, because they do sometimes only get filled with one unit. And that's super inefficient. And I don't think that we really have any option... Oh wait, currently sending one unit. Waiting until full. Here, there, that, that's what we want to do. Wait until full. Okay, I think that makes way more sense. We'll wait until full on all these trucks, and then we'll save us a huge ton of traffic, and we definitely have to do that here too, because that is a huge factor for us. Oh my god, that makes so much more sense though, doesn't it? I mean, you know, some of these things, of course, we have to supply on a more regular basis, even if we just get one unit, but... Like, that will save us so many trucks. Hopefully also a good bunch of transportation costs that way, and especially a good bunch of insane traffic. And all these trucks are now invisibly driving super slowly, so that's, uh, you know, glorious. And why is there one piece of dirt road right here? Let's fix that. Also fix that on the way. Beautiful. I'm gonna fix that. You know, don't need these dirt roads anymore. There we go. Okay. So, you know, that should help. Why is there a dirt road here? And, like, Questioning myself sometimes here. Yeah. Well, that works way better. Let's just do it like that. Cool. So yeah, um, that is an that was like a crazy fix to the traffic situation. I hope because while you know all these uh individual thingies here still deliver only one at a time, one unit at a time, and I don't think they can really deliver more at a time. Um, the warehouse trucks now only go when they're full with three units of water like that, for example, instead of sending one after another after another. Makes so much more sense to me, and I think that should help us quite a lot, both in terms of profitability and traffic issues. So, very much looking forward to that. Now, the train terminal is close to finishing um, research, which is beautiful. Kind of quickly want to look here if there's something we can do to actually be able to boost our like field and harvest of trucks and stuff but it doesn't look like it now um i think these things here we wanted to actually look at too the extra crop fields and the extra livestock fields i think would be very very helpful indeed to be honest um another thing though would be being able to push more money into r d ah so kind of a tough choice there like the thing is we can't really Research more products unless this, like, the, uh, no town advancements at this time. Hmm. Yeah, you know, unless the actual requirements from the town grow, which doesn't seem to be the case anytime soon. Also, issue, we finished a contract, which is good news, you know, made a lot of money, but we do now have a huge ton of leather, which I'm pretty sure we're not delivering anymore. Indeed, we are not, so we need to actually be delivering that before um, that thing totally fills up. So let me go here, I guess. We've already got a 14. Holy Jesus. We're going to deliver that to the usual hardware store again now that we fulfill the contract. We're going to send it when full, and then we're going to make some more money off that again, which is uh, good news, because, you know, don't, don't want to waste all that fancy leather, or, well, at least don't want to have it stock up there for 15 million years when I may be selling it out instead. And you can see, 
three trucks. Three, three trucks literally to deliver all the leather we had there, which is very nice. That works quite well for us. Now the train has finished developing. And I think we're literally going to up our monthly R&D investment because we're making a good bunch of money at this point. I kind of want to proceed a bit quicker, especially with like the field and harvester stuff um, right here. Like I would literally like to push through this very quickly, which has a very high cost attached to it in total. Um, but you can see here, 540 days, 120 days. It's going to take us ages. And, um, well, being able to invest... 250k is literally going to more than double our research speed in that regard so i think we're going to do that despite that probably going to be impacting our profitability a bit i think we should get that out of the way like we're we've got 60 days for this but we're gonna double our research time so given that this was like a total of uh 720 days will save 360 days through investing 60 into that so honestly we'll, we'll even save more than that of course because um, it's literally 150% of an increase, so, yeah. Um, let's get that underway. I will get the game going a bit quicker here until we've got that done. Um, beautiful, though, on the profitability overall, I would say. You know, 200k despite... Does our investment stuff count into this? Monthly loans and fines. What do you mean loans? What kind of loans do we have? Start a loan. Oh, okay, so we're starting to repay that now, apparently. Which I guess is fine, but um, it is kind of impacting our profitability. Then we've got R&D expenses, vehicle upkeep, building upkeep. We're actually not making that much profit, I suppose. No, we're making... We made 204k last month, honestly. I would say that's kind of fine. You know, we've got all these. Like, we're, we're doing pretty well. Um, Looking at this real quick here. We've got 13.33 million of value. I think we're slightly catching up to Waterworth, which is nice and beautiful. The the other company down here being ways away from us, though. Um, Permit auction. Thornstetten. Pause. We nearly missed our... 12 million and you're actually bidding how does he even have 12 million he's worth 13 are you insane we just his stocks are worth 14 million and he's bidding 12 for a permit like i mean we cannot really you know um partake in that anyways but how in the world do you have 12 million bucks in your accounts? Holy but Jesus. I mean, we're not going to be able to contend with that regardless, but... It's kind of insane. Okay, anyways, let's get these alerts out of the way. Um, he's got a Thornstetten now, which means more money for him eventually, I guess. Um, what? How did his stock value just double in price? I am so confused. I'm so confused about this. That's insane. How, what just happened? He was just at 12 million, now he's at 25. After spending 12 on a permit. How does that double his stocks in value? That makes no sense whatsoever to me. Wow. That's insane, honestly. Um, now, anyways, we've got the train stuff going, though. And, well, we're kind of, honestly, still not really... Why do I... Did I change my overview accidentally? How did I change that back? Err... Uh, state, global market, shop overview, tech tree... Here? Shop names tab okay um so i don't know i mean we are still not even fulfilling this demand so i'm not really sure if we need a train line that badly uh how, how are the toy trains going can we maybe push that instead and push that out through a train line to somewhere else um if we look not at our headquarters but at the toy store right here we can see three per 15 days is the demand currently which is 
Wait, no, that's not actually it. That's 8 per 15 days. We are making... 2. Okay, we're making 6. So we could even get another toy factory going, not even care about it, and still not need a train. It's kind of insane. So, um, looking at this then, we're making 12 units of wood every 30 days. Well, we're making 6 every 15, which is probably more frequency than we want to line to. And, okay, so we would need another lumberyard to actually get that going somewhat efficiently. And I suppose that we could place that somewhat up here. Would be in the warehouse range, and then we could just add another toy factory to the grid. Um, or two, or three, and um, also get like a train depot going. And Well, is there more toy stores is kind of the, the question of the century. Is that even worth doing? I cannot spot any anywhere. None. Okay, so... Given that this is like the only place we can actually sell those toys out to. Ah, I'm not quite sure it is worth it building a lumber yard with only one harvester for that purpose. I suppose we could probably reuse some of the wood for other things and actually branch out into more things that way. We've got a toy train set, which requires a wooden train and steel. Okay. Maybe we can actually make some more stuff here. This actually requires plastic. This requires wood, which should also be a very nice option. Okay, I think... I think this kind of validates that we can probably uh, go and make some more furniture. Well, toy furniture with that. But this uh, plastic part right here being sort of interesting too. If we maybe have a quick look at the tech tree, that's probably a lot of things to research to actually get ourselves there, but if we already have that demand, and given that we've got gas and oil in this region, that could be something to look at. Um, paint right here, uh, able to produce a petrochemical plant requirements. Looks like chemical and water to me? That's an insanely complex production, I feel like. This would require steel, which I think we cannot make in the current region. Um, where are we at? What is this? This little watery icon. Um, petrochemical. So this is chemicals, as I kind of thought it was, which is not the most complicated thing in the world to make. But the other thing... That was shown to me. I mean, here, yeah, paint. But what does that require? Is that just water? Because that's not what water normally looks like. When we, like, harvest it with a water siphon and stuff. If that makes sense. It's usually not in a bucket like that. Well, that that's probably not the right way, uh, place to look. Oh, here. Die. Oh, so we can use the bear. Oh my, wow, we actually have everything in that region to make that. It's an insanely complex production, but maybe that's something to look at in the long run. Uh, for the time being, well, I mean, all this stuff isn't really interesting because nobody actually in this region wants that yet, but I think what is interesting is the toy furniture right here. I think that should be our next research goal because uh, this actually will allow us to get a lot more wood um, processed and used for ourselves, and, um, well, we should be able to make, you know, more things with it, and actually make more money of it, which sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, what I will go and do, I think, is actually plant some saplings out here, if we may, just to kind of prepare to build more, like, uh, lumber yards all over the place basically and uh, then we will use that to make toy furniture and make more money off of that so yeah I think I'm pretty happy with that for the time being uh, we've got one spot here which I think we can actually use for a lumber yard already so let's go and do that uh, was that in gatherers it was okay so we're gonna place the lumber yard out here more or less and, um, donk. And then we're going to go and add some harvesters. Now, 
I'm still not quite sure if harvesters overlapping with each other will be an issue, to be honest. If that takes productivity away from the other. You know what I mean? I'm not quite sure. Um, so what we will do here for the time being is two harvesters here. And I think we will not place a third just yet, because for what we can produce, we don't really need more wood anyways. Uh, we will only need more wood when we actually have the toy furniture unlocked. So, for now, let's go to factories. Let's build another toy factory down here to actually fully satisfy the toy train demand. And uh, we will connect that up too. Got to connect that manually as far as I remember out here, you can see. Um, Toy Factory 3-2, we will go and choose destination for raw resources, wood, which will be that Toy Factory right there, and we will have to do the same thing, so max sent, as usual, should be 8, and min kept should be forward to be able to satisfy that toy factory is demand too and uh, well that way we should be able to actually make all the stuff that we want now I uh, gotta actually of course uh, deliver that out to the warehouse right there which is gonna be totally fine and uh, well then that should be sorted that should be more toys that we can make that we can sell that we can make money off of we just invested like 800k in that or something which is insane how much do these factories even cost me 600k a bit. Wow, okay. That's uh, that's a lot of money. I mean, they do make us a lot of money too, so, you know, long term I think it's a good investment, and we'll certainly be building more toy factories in order to be able to make all the, um, all the toy furniture too then, but yeah, something to keep in mind, I guess. Uh, all these saplings will have a tad bit of time to grow, I think, before we actually uh, will reuse them to make wood, and Actually, let me plant some down here too, just in case we need another lumber yard, which I think could end up being the case. Um, just kind of will have to see how to squeeze that in. But yeah, so um, that's that. I think that's the plan somewhat, you know, further advanced for the time being. We do now deliver 12 leather to Webhams. We're going to bid on that. Um, we do now somewhat have... I, I think we've kind of abandoned the plan of having a train depot anywhere because given the high demands and are still struggling to fulfill some of them and also expanding into new markets i think we're good for the time being um whenever we actually get all these extra fields researched though we will probably very quickly go over um the demands that we currently are working with and we will probably get to a point that we will need that train depot so i guess it's somewhat oh Future-proofing us? No, go away, that's my contract to have. Um, so we will hopefully somewhat be uh, future-proofing us right there. But, um, well, for the time being, give me that contract, it is mine. For the time being, let's try and get that contract real quick. We'll probably be bidding with these guys quite a lot. Go away! Freaking venturing out into my uh, field of business and trying to yank the contracts off of me. What are you thinking? 190% profitability though. That is beautiful. I will just go and quickly set up this thing here too, because, well, you know, we kind of got to uh, make sure that we're definitely delivering that, not forgetting about it. And uh, yeah, then we're going to go and uh, deliver the leather out, make some money off that contract to hopefully um, next episode then when uh, the R&D on the monthly investment is complete and we can proceed a bit quicker. I think first things first, we will take care of the toy furniture, get that underway, hopefully get more lumber yards going and profit off that toy furniture quite a bit too. And uh, well, then we will probably move on to uh, all the field research in order to be able to produce more of that and deliver that stuff out with a train to some other city which can use that. And uh, then ultimately, probably potentially move on to producing Easter eggs, which would be an absolutely insane and crazy and complex production line. So very interested in how that's going to go. Uh, but that's a very long term plan right there. But anyways, for today, I'm going to end it off right here. So I hope you all enjoy the episode. As usual, if you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That does always help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please 
please consider subscribing right down below, as well as hitting that bell icon to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao. Bye.